Hello. Today I'm taking you to this weird looking building behind me. It almost looks like a space invader, but it's actually a super sustainable house. It was designed, engineered and constructed by students of TU Delft for the Solar Decathlon Europe competition in 2019. We're going to meet some students today. Hi Nienke. Hi, welcome to Moore's Prototype. Thank you. Um, Moore, what does it stand for? Moore stands for Modular Office Renovation. Okay, and, and what does it mean? What, what uh, did you do with the project? Um, we actually tried to tackle two big challenges in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And the first one is that all office buildings need to have an energy label C or higher by mm -hmm. 2023. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, we need one million new homes by 2030. Um, so we have a renovation strategy to renovate these inefficient offices into housing, sustainable okay. housing for starters. So this is an office building actually, yeah. part of an office building. Yeah, it's actually this one. It's uh -huh. just 10 kilometers away from here, mm -hmm. the Marconi Towers. Mm -hmm. And we proposed this to okay. make this out of it. Now I recognize the facade, yes. Okay, can we have a closer look? Yeah, just follow me. So the more strategy, what does it entail? We came up with a net positive strategy because we believe that buildings should, instead of be consumers, become producers. Okay, and can you clarify net positive? Yeah, for the net positive strategy, we focused on five aspects. Energy, air, water, materials and biomass. Okay, and can you give a few examples? Yes, for energy, for example, uh, we produce more energy than our building needs mm -hmm. and we only used circular building materials. Okay. So what are these tanks here? Come on, and I will show you. Okay. This is a small version of a halophyte filter, which you can use in an urban setting in a wetland, and you can filter water with it. Okay, and how does it work? In this first tank, we collect rainwater and grey water, where the big particles sink to the bottom, and then the rest of the water continues to this one, mm -hmm. which is the actual halophyte filter. On the plants, there are bacteria, that are able to clean the water. And once it's been cleaned, it goes to the third tank where we store it for reuse in the building later. Okay, and what do you use it for? We use it, for example, for the flushing the toilet and the dishwasher. Okay, shall we have a look inside then? Yeah, come on, then I will guide you to Okan. He will tell you more. Okay, thank you. Hi, Okan, hey, nice to meet you. Andy, welcome, let's go inside. Wow, that's a beautiful green wall. Yes, and it's not just beautiful, but also functional. The plants filter the incoming air, while the PCM behind it pre-cools or preheats the air before it enters the house. Mm, phase change materials. They look like cooling elements. Yes, so when hot air passes over these elements, the air is pre-cooled and then blown into the house. Or in reverse, when cool air passes over them, the air is heated and then blown into the apartment. Okay. And this way, we create a healthy indoor environment without a lot of energy consumption. Okay, nice. Let's take so a, have a look inside. Ah, the kitchen. It looks bio-based, isn't it? Yes, so what you see here are CNC milled wooden panels and these hemp fiber panels that are all made using interlocking wooden connections. Okay, so they're all dry mounted here. Yes, so we use the design for disassembly method and we use these sustainable materials, which are all contributing to our materials positive strategy. Mm. I see that flexibility is a very important aspect of the design, right? Yes, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. You never know what might happen in the near future. And that's why we designed this house as a flexible plan. Mm -hmm. And you can see this here also in the bedroom. It's a bed. Yes, but look at this. <laughs> it's got a desk underneath. Yes, this is called a Murphy bed. And it allows you to use it as a bed at evenings, but also as an office at daytime. And I guess these columns here, they are the original columns, concrete columns of uh, the office building, right? Yes, so this exposed concrete allows you to really feel the historicness of this structure. And it probably helps also to stabilize the temperature. Definitely. Mm, nice. Ah, we're getting back to the green room. Exactly. So this is the outdoor space of the house, but it is actually indoor because of the typology of our tower. I understand, yeah. yeah. All right, so I've seen water positivity, air positivity, material positivity, you could also say green positivity. I'm missing energy positivity. For that, we have to go outside where Seem can you tell all about it. Okay. Let's go. So Seem, tell me, how did this Moore Pavilion become energy positive? 
Well, that's why we stand here mm -hmm. at the facade. For old office buildings like this, there's not enough roof area. So that's why we use the facade to produce solar energy. So these green panels over here are actually solar panels? Yes, they are indeed. It's a, it's a new facade product actually um, that replaces other facade elements, but still uh, produces energy indeed. Okay. And can they have different colors? Yeah, yeah they're, they're available in all kinds of colors and patterns. Nice, nice. What is this peculiar glass thing here? This is uh, a development from the TU Delft. It's called the PVT chimney. And what does it do? It, it produces hot water, it produces electricity, and it creates ventilation. Wow, impressive. Yeah. But this whole facade, can it also be demounted easily? It's actually quite easy. You can just, I can demonstrate it. Okay. You can lift it, pull it out, and pull it back in. Very simple, wow. It's quite an accomplishment, what the MORE team did. Are you proud? Yes, I'm very proud. We were the most awarded project in the Solar Decathlon competition ever. Wow, impressive. Well, Steam, thank you very much for your explanation here and um, my respect to the MORE team. I hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. And so you see that even a worthless office can be turned into a super sustainable building. If you want to know more about zero energy design, please check out edX.org and find out about our courses.